Now, we were just talking about it. Today, a group of healthcare workers were the first to get a live Ebola vaccine right here in Colorado. And that's why we're continuing our coverage with Nine Health expert Dr. Paul Coley to tell us more about this vaccine and how it works. I mean, we heard just one, one dose is all? One dose is all, and when you hear live Ebola, you start to get worried, sure. right? Yeah. Because they're injecting somebody with a virus. And the good news is that vaccine cannot make you sick with a virus. So what's live in it is actually what we call the viral vector. So think about this as the car that's driving the Ebola gene into the person. So we use a, a benign virus, the VSV virus, which can't make you sick, but we swap out a gene of that virus for the Ebola gene. And then that person can, of course, make copies of that and start to make antibodies against so, it. So what we know about Ebola just in the last 10 years is all we really know. But this vaccine now is a new step. It's a huge step, in fact. And I think the biggest questions that sort of remain in my mind are how long does the immunity last? Because right now, as you just heard, we're rolling it out only to healthcare workers and sort of frontline people. But for a, a virus that has a 50 to 90% mortality, very yeah. quickly, is highly contagious, and you die in a sort of very painful way, this is a huge step forward, especially in areas of the world where Ebola is endemic, such as Africa. Yeah. I remember when we first heard about it, and you know, it, COVID gives you a whole different perspective mm -hmm. because you're concerned, but not really, until you have a pandemic. Mm -hmm. um, but, but when we talk about this, you have a vaccine now for Ebola almost 10 years later. That really highlights how fast we got a vaccine for COVID. It's incredible, Kim and Tom. You know, the, what we did with COVID was unprecedented, but I hope that it's ushered in an era of science where we can start to do that for other vaccines and other treatments. We now, for the first time, have, have an RSV vaccine. So I think we're making tremendous progress. And I want every vaccine to be a little deposit into our immune system savings bank that will pay off one day. Huh. Well, let me ask you about that because the popularity of vaccines, uh, I think, took a huge hit during COVID. There was so much argument politically over how people felt about vaccines. So now an Ebola vaccine, probably not necessary for most Americans. Right. But if it were to be, the appetite for, for Americans and vaccines has changed, hasn't it? It has, and I really hope it changes back and the winds sort of change direction. Because I have to say, without hesitation, the reason we have our lives back to normal is because of the vaccines and because the virus was kind to us. It changed. Without both of those things happening, we would still be in that lockdown phase. So if we ever have a, a case where, for example, the virus gets on a plane from Africa and travels here to Denver, which you guys we're saying has happened yes. before, mm -hmm. you know, we need to be prepared and we need to know how to launch this out. And most importantly, Tom, to your point, we need to have people have an appetite for putting their arms out because what we saw in the studies that tell us this, that, and they tested this in what's called a ring vaccination, meaning they exposed the people in the ring that were exposed to Ebola. They, they vaccinated them. And when they vaccinated these people, none of them got sick with wow. Ebola despite being exposed. My very pedestrian view of Ebola versus COVID is Ebola is very deadly. COVID can, can kill you. Ebola is a deadly virus. It's deadly very quickly. Yeah. And like I said, it, mm -hmm. it's like that movie Outbreak with right. Dustin Hoffman where you see people dying these horrible deaths so quickly and there's nothing you can do. We don't have antivirals yet for Ebola that are very effective. So we need to be sure that we do prevention. And this includes like post-exposure prophylaxis. So if somebody were to even get exposed to Ebola, that's what these studies are telling us. Even then the vaccine may be helpful because we start to see antibody responses within 14 days. Mm -hmm. So as the viral load goes up, your antibodies can kind of go up and, and fight it off. So depending on how this does, I mean, would you see it as, maybe not for everybody, but if you're traveling to Africa or you're traveling to certain areas, you might be required to get it. Exactly like that, yes. Okay. And then if the virus were to come here, then it certainly would roll out more. If it's been more than six months and you're high risk for exposure, like you work in a lab that processes Ebola, the CDC says you can actually get a second dose as a boost. All right, thanks again for joining us today, Dr. Coley. And if you have questions for our Nine Health expert, just head to ninenews.com slash ask Dr. Coley.